So you're using Wix and you've set up dynamic pages or even just regular pages and you want to show your users where they are and help them navigate using breadcrumbs. Welcome back to the Wix Wiz. I'm Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about how to use a little tiny bit of code in order to set up a breadcrumbs element on Wix, which will help your users navigate between different dynamic pages and just use your site in a much more user friendly way. So if you want to learn how to do all that and more, let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to acknowledge that this tutorial is based off of a question slash suggestion that was left in a comment on one of the videos on the channel. Uh, and you can see that here inside of the YouTube Community Center on the Wix Wiz website. So essentially, we're addressing this question today, which is how to add breadcrumbs to dynamic pages. And this is actually an AI generated question based off of the entire comment left on this video on the channel. And we have a script set up that dynamically pulls all of your comments from the channel and analyzes them and organizes them here on the Wix Wiz website to make it easier for you to find different comments that you might be looking for and also for us to understand what's important to you. So just know that when you leave a comment on the channel, you're not only leaving it on YouTube, but you're actually leaving it in this directory as well. And uh, one day your comment might become a tutorial too. So now that we understand that, let's hop in and get started. I'll start by going over my setup here today. So I'm using classic Wix. Everything that I'm doing here should be possible in Studio, but I haven't tested breadcrumbs in Studio, so there might be slight differences in the behavior. In order to set up, I used a blank template website, and the only thing that I did is I added in a CMS collection called Cats. And this collection has lots of data about different cats. I generated it using the generate with AI option inside of Wix when you're generating a new CMS collection. And then I went ahead and I created dynamic pages from this collection. So right over here, if you're not familiar with the concept of dynamic pages, this might be a good point to pause the video and check out another video on the, on the channel, which is a tutorial about dynamic pages. So I'm assuming here that you know what dynamic pages are. And I created two dynamic pages, one which is the list page. So essentially just a list of all the cats. And then an item page, which is one for each individual cat. And I'm really just using the generic Wix design that is created when you generate a dynamic page. Our goal here today is to set up breadcrumbs for these item pages. Breadcrumbs are essentially a navigational tool on the website, which can help the user understand where they are in the site and navigate back to pages that are essentially higher up in the menu hierarchy than this page. So for example, on this dynamic item page, we would probably want to see the list page and possibly the home page inside of our breadcrumbs. This will become a lot more clear once we add in the breadcrumb elements. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over here to add elements right up here on the upper left. And I'm going to look for those breadcrumbs. If you're not sure where it is like me, you can just use the search up here and then search for bread, let's say, or breadcrumbs. And here you will see uh, this option to add this in. And we also have this note here that to add breadcrumbs, we first need to turn on dev mode. So uh, in order to do that, let's go ahead over here. And I'm just going to close all this up. And over here on the top left, we have dev mode. If you are in Wix Studio, then you'll have code mode here on the left, bottom left. And now that we have that turned on, hopefully we will be able to add in breadcrumbs. This is not going to be a code intensive tutorial, but Wix requires us to turn on dev mode. So that's what we did. I am uh, going to go ahead and look again for our breadcrumbs. And now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you what they look like. So these here are the different breadcrumbs. Uh, they're just a bunch of different designs, but essentially they all follow the same principle where they show you a certain hierarchy or a certain trail that you took to get to this page and help you navigate back to the parent pages. So if we translate this here to our cats scenario, so we'd have, let's say, home and then cats and then the specific cat after that. So that's kind of what we're looking for. And you can just drag in anyone that you want here. Uh, let's see which design do I like the most. 
let's go ahead and just go with the first one. So I'm going to go over here and drag this right over here. And now these breadcrumbs, what they're doing is they're showing a uh, home and then slash cats item. So if I manage to drag this up without the whole editor glitching out. So if we see what this looks like over here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to publish my site. Before I do that, I'm just going to add a regular menu item here. So let's go ahead and add in just a regular menu because I want to have access to our cats page from the menu. Okay, so I just dragged in a simple menu and I'm going to go ahead and publish the site because I want to see what the breadcrumbs look like out of the box. So I'm going to go over here to done and I'm going to go here and go to the live site. Let's go over here, site, view site, and head to the cats page. And now let's go to see more about Fluffy, the Persian cat. And here now you can see it's home and cats item. Okay, so this is obviously not what we want because this cats item, first of all, we wanted to say something like Fluffy or whatnot. And second of all, uh, we also want to have our cats list in between. So we added in the item, but it's we can use it to navigate home, but it's not really doing exactly what we want. So let's see how we can fix that up. In order to customize our breadcrumbs, we're going to need to use some Velo code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the breadcrumbs element. And then over here on the bottom, I'm going to open up the IDE by just giving it a click. So then you can see here that the IDE opens if you didn't have it open already. This is where we're going to write the code for this specific breadcrumbs on this specific page. Here on the right, uh, we can see information about this specific breadcrumbs element. And we also have a link over here to the API reference. Once we go ahead and click on that, it will open up this reference all about breadcrumbs. And specifically, we're going to be talking about this items property, which allows us to set the different items that will be in the breadcrumbs. So what this does is it takes an array where each, um, each object in the array has a label. I'm not going to complicate things with an icon, but each one has a label and a link. So the label is what people will see inside of the breadcrumbs. And the link is the page of the site that it will go to. And since it's inside of our Wix site, we don't need the whole domain. We just need to have the path. So the slug uh, that we're going to be navigating to. So for our home and our cats page, this is pretty straightforward because those don't really change. But for our dynamic pages, we're going to have to figure that out because those can change based on what page you're on. So what we're going to do is first, let's go ahead and tap into these breadcrumbs on our page. So let's go ahead and head back into the editor. And here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this name over here. I don't need to change it much because we only have one set of breadcrumbs on the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one because we don't really need it. And the ID will be breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to head over here into our on ready. And I'm going to get rid of all of this code here that's in gray. It's commented out. Essentially, we're not using it. So it's just there as a boilerplate. So we can go ahead and get rid of it. And all of our code, we're going to be writing inside of this on ready function that you see over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the breadcrumbs element just like that. So it's dollar W open parentheses, open quotation marks, pound sign, and then the ID that we set over here on the bottom right. OK, so you see ID breadcrumbs. And then over here we have the same thing, breadcrumbs. And then we're going to go dot items. And this is going to be an array. An array is defined using square brackets. And each one of the portions of our breadcrumbs is going to be an object. An object is defined using squiggly brackets. And each one is going to have a label property. And it's always also going to have a, I think it was link property, but I already managed to forget. So let's go ahead over here. And I can see here that it is a link property. So let's go over here. And we're going to have a link. OK, so this is what we're going to have. And we're going to have three of these because we have three layers that we want. So the first label is just going to be our home page. So we're going to just say home like that. And for our link, 
uh, we can just do home or we could even just do slash like that and that should take us to the home page. That's our first object. So easy peasy. And then we need to put a comma here in between each object. And then we can go ahead and just copy this, paste it right under and make the necessary adjustments. So here this is going to be our cats page. And here we need to now find the URL for that page. Uh, so let's go over here to our dynamic pages. And we're talking about this list page over here. So let's go here into the settings. And specifically, let's go here into SEO. And we can see here that it's slash cats. Okay, which is great. And now that we see that we can go right back over here. Sorry, not over there, but we want to go back to our cats item page over here. And uh, what we're going to do is over here, I'm just going to do slash cats. Okay, just like that. And the last thing that we want is the current page that we're on, right? So if we go over here, now this is where things get fun because we essentially need to have a dynamic value here based on the specific page that we're on, right? Each one of our cats pages has a different title and it has also a different URL. So we need to essentially figure out which place we need to navigate to and also what we should call the label. In order to do that, we are going to tap into the data of the item of the dynamic page that we are on. So to do that, we're going to tap into the data set of this item. And you can find information about the data set by going over here to CMS, and then going over here to manage page connections. And then it'll open up this panel over here on the side, and we can see that we have one data set on this page. And the ID is the dynamic data set. So dynamic pages will automatically have one data set on the item pages, which is linked to that specific item. So you don't need to filter, you don't need to do anything. The data that we grab from this data set should automatically be this specific item. So let's go over here, back to our page code. And I'm going to zoom in here. So before we set the items of our breadcrumb, we're going to need to get some data from our data set. And before we get data from our data set, we're going to want to make sure that our data is all loaded. So in order to do that, I'm going to select our dynamic data set, just like we selected the breadcrumbs element. And I'm going to say here on ready, on ready means that all of the data for that data set is already loaded. And once we're ready here, what we're going to do is we're going to get the data for the current item. So I'm going to declare a new variable called current item. And I'm going to say that that equals to the dynamic data set dot get current item. So now there should be an object with lots of data points. And these data points correspond to the fields inside of our cats collection. So we'll have a name field and we'll have breed, etc. And we'll also have one more field, which is a property which reflects the slug of that specific page for the dynamic pages. Unfortunately, it's not shown over here. But if we open the collection up, and then we go right over here, then we can see here the cat's item field, and we can edit. And here we get this field ID right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go right over here. And I'm going to declare a new variable. So I'm going to say const current item link equals to current item. And then since this field has like a slightly weird name, we need to put this inside of square brackets and just paste it like that. Okay, so that's one thing down. And we can say here const uh, current item label equals to and here we'll just use the cat's name. So we could just go like that and select the cat name. So we got a label and we got a link. And now we just need to pass these to our breadcrumbs. But our breadcrumbs are currently outside of this on ready callback function. So we're just going to go ahead and grab all of this breadcrumb code right over here. And we're going to add another line right over here. And paste our breadcrumbs code in there. And now we're going to replace current cat with current item label. 
and we'll replace the link with current item link, just like that. So now hopefully this should show the specific name of the current cat and the link should link to that this current page. So let's go ahead and see if this is all working. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish and meet you on the live site to do some testing. Here we are on the live site. And if I zoom in here on our breadcrumbs, you can see that it's working quite nicely. Uh, so we have here home cats fluffy. So in terms of the labels, it's working great. Uh, and if I go here and I navigate back to the cats page and I pick, let's say whiskers here instead of fluffy, then you can see here this changes to whiskers. Uh, and if I click over here, then nothing really happens because we're already on the whiskers page. But it is a very good indicator to the user. OK, where are you on the site right now? And it can easily allow the user to navigate back to either the cats or the home page. And if you want, you can also incorporate these breadcrumbs in other places uh, throughout your site. So with that, we are going to wrap up a really nice, simple tutorial. There's obviously a lot more you can do and play around with in terms of the breadcrumbs, but these are the basics. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, if you have any questions, comments about this video or any videos that you would like to see in general, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos on this channel, I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button, turning on notifications, and I will see you next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. This tutorial may be over, but that doesn't mean that your journey has to end here. YouTube will have some recommendations up above in a moment for more videos, but don't get too distracted because my eyes are over here. And on the Wixwiz website, we have a lot more resources for you to continue learning or get support for your business or project. We've got a blog, beginner courses, and a community forum where you can vent about Velo or post some tough questions like, why does my header have a mind of its own? On the website, you can also find my personal calendar to schedule a one-on-one -on -one and details about getting ongoing assistance from our team of Wix experts. I'll catch you later, and don't forget that every big feature was once a small bug.